What is going on guys? It is night time, well, 10 o'clock at night, I just had a nap. Uh, pretty busy day doing bits and pieces around the place. Uh, let's do something on the bike. Um, catch can, catch can, let's do the catch can. Uh, so we got this bad boy. One runs from the front bank, one runs from the back. I added another one to the top of the rocker. And we'll kind of feed all the way up here and snake their way through. Down here. Now this is where I need to mount a catch can. Can't mount it here. So ECU sits under it. And other electronics and bits and pieces. Obviously I want to keep the water out, so I don't want to be punching through here too heavily. Um, and I can't have it sit over the tire because if it does leak, uh, bad time. So, I think... It's gonna have to mount it right on the side here. Which is probably the better, safer option. Um, try and give it a little bit of a angle. Straight up, straight up, and... Yeah, no rocket times. Make it fit. I think I got some alley... I do, I got some alley bar stuff. I got some of this. I use for just starting and testing out the old uh, TIG. So I'm gonna chop some of this up and... We got this bad boy. If you keep touching the, the zoom on this thing, just moving the camera around. Uh, all right. Making a mess, making a mess, here we go. So we got this bad boy here. Uh, I'm going to cut these two tabs off because they aren't really ideally situated. Cut them off, flap them down, nice and clean. It's got a handy little drain here so I can check the blow by, see what's going on in the motor. Uh, fit you down. And uh, for an eBay cheap little uh, catch can, don't know how much I've had, not a heck of a lot though. Um, it's actually baffled, which is good. You find some of the real cheap ones, like real dirt nasty. I'm not talking price-wise, I'm talking quality-wise. Really poorly made ones, they don't even have a baffle or anything in there. It's just two or three, however many, however many AN fittings straight into a tank. Which, I guess for I guess all intents and purposes, would do the job. But that's when you find your filters all covered in soot. Uh, dirt and debris get caught in it because there's oil mist collecting on the inside soaking through um, Messy time and then obviously if you go over bumps and stuff it Doesn't stay in the can does it? Um, so I'll set you up. I'm going to have a fiddle around and see where I can Locate this thing trim and chop a few things up because I got both of these to line up I only Got one chance to line it up as well because there's not enough of the hose. I think it's like three eighths so hours. There's not enough of that to do it twice. So, one shot. Um, I was actually thinking today that, you know, I could just run a bead through here, 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 and here, welding it to that, but now I've wrapped it. I don't want to unwrap it to weld in a V-band, so waiting for the gasket. It's the easiest, most serviceable way to do it. So I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to, but I got it. And I'll get into it. some welding loving this welder loving the ability just to weld alley stainless anything so good like 
your imagination can run wild. You can bloody build a rocket ship. SpaceX done sort of made out of competition. Anyway, as you saw, um, done a quick weld over this. I did miss a spot there. So I went back over that so it's not quite land dimes, but she's solid, not going anywhere. And using the pre-existing uh, exhaust hanger mount actually because, you know, whole other side. Oh no, this side, this side. Side exit exhaust and whatnot. Um, and that's it. I've got a little bit of play now, so I can move it back and forth. I want it up as high as possible. I'll chuck the filter over there back on. Um, see where we sit. I was originally going to run just a couple of these. Uh, flat bar, but when you chuck that up there, uh, I these are actually two inch dog bones, lowering bones for the bike. It just sits at far too low now that it's turbo. There's a drain that runs underneath that. It's just a bit low for my liking for street riding, so I might get the one inch, um, drop it down one inch and a little bit at the front. That's probably the maximum I can do. Then I start running into clearance with the charge piping and all that. Anyway, dog bone, repurposed, used. I'll polish that up so it's a little bit prettier. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Doesn't look like this. Oop, I just done something with the zoom. Was that in or was that out? That was in. Oh, that was out. Okay, so I don't know how long that's been zoomed in. Anyway, now this one, uh, I'm gonna use this to hold it at its pivot point or the pivot point that I want. So I'm gonna weld this to the back. I'm gonna use this bolt here to tie it all in. And then that's that, that's all tied together. Um, it's kind of good that this is still on a rubber mount. I'll find a big washer, a uh, big Allen bolt, something stainless and shiny. Might paint this black, might paint these black. Maybe, I don't know yet. Um, get this mounted up on the angle that I want. The closer to this, the better. Uh, because that has it more standing vertically. I mean, before, when I had it like that, that would work, but it essentially uh, changes the effective volume of this catch can, because if it fills up to a certain point on this angle, it's gonna start overflowing. Whereas if I have it cocked all the way up, it can fill with that much more volume before I have issues. And with only one tire at the back, issues like that would probably end up being you know, death. So yeah, I'll get that in there, weld that up, see what it looks like when it's done, and then run these AN fittings. Done. So, catch it. Uh, just gave it a quick polish. Not sure if the GoPro actually caught the polishing. It was on low battery, so I just had it kind of taken away in the background. Quick polish. Turned out pretty nice. Welding's average, but it will hold. And I went about folding over that corner there just to give it a bit more uh, support there. And yeah, that's it. Catch can will now bolt in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck it in and start fitting up these hoses as well been a pretty productive last hour or so. Uh, didn't quite get too much footage of it. In fact, none. Um, but, here's the result. Everything fits. It's all tucked in under there. The seat and everything fits with a uh, little bit of massaging. And, yeah, she looks the goods. So I got the AN line Kind of fed through the small hole in there, the smallest hole I could possibly fit or possibly cut. Um, the less crap they get through there, the better. Um, tighten down, everything's firm, like it's, it's not going anywhere. It's also got a little bit of vibration damping due to the fact that it's sitting on the hanger for the old exhaust. Um, you, can, you can give it a good swing, it's polished, it's shiny. I mean, what else do you need? Everything's better shiny. And that is the catch can done. It's amazing what you can do with a little bit of welding and some just just generally scrap bits and pieces floating around. I'm gonna get this little bit of hair off. Get off before it. It's not coming off my hand. And then. This is good because it also means that I can uh, 
take passengers on the bikes though because it, initially even earlier this evening I was going to mount it using these holes and just have it sitting right there right in the way of everything really um, but now chuck this bad boy down now obviously you need one on the other side done that's it finito um, see the lines run through there get a bit of filing from the seat and they split run off I still want to take this corner off this fairing just to give it Oh yeah, you can see it here. Um, let's just push this out a bit. That needs to sit in, so I'll trim that. And that's done. Good to go. Um, yeah, so I guess thank you for watching. Appreciate any likes, uh, or even just the views actually. If you guys are interested or want to see something else, want to see me do something else with a bike, if you got any information or suggestions, uh, chuck some comments in there and yeah. Yet again, another one done.